to my channel, my name is Heisy, I'm a working mom of a 24 month old named Amina. In today's video, which I am so so excited about, I'm going to show you Alina's second birthday party at the local farm. I'm gonna take you guys through the whole process with me, so I'll show you how I did all the party prepping a day before and how I decorated the table. And we had massive play trays set up for the kids as well, which I think it's the most brilliant idea to have for kids party. So I'm going to show you guys that as well. So I just did some shopping for the party. I got drinks, fruits, cheese and crackers and whatnot. And also got lots of picnic wear from Kmart and Tyson. And now I'm going to pick up Aline's birthday cake on the way back home, which I ordered about a week ago. I need to get all the party prepping done during Alina's nap time. She usually sleeps about two to two and a half hours. So we're gonna have lunch when we get home and as soon as we're done with eating, she's gonna take a nap, hopefully a long nap, so that I can get everything ready before she wakes up. So this is the cake that I just picked up. It looks just like what we discussed on the phone. I just need to put farm animal figurines on top of the cake tomorrow. So what we are doing for the party is just like simple food. We are doing morning tea and lunch. Nothing too crazy, just something really simple. So for kids morning tea, I'm going to make some homemade cookies and fruit cups. And for mums, I'll do a cheese platter. And for lunch, I've organized some finger food from a Korean place. And then we'll all have the cake for dessert. I tried to make this party kind of like low-key and budget friendly because we had a family trip planned on the weekend to celebrate Alina's birthday just with the family so having another party with Alina's friends were not part of our plan but we've decided to throw her last minute party and everything happened in like 10 days so it's not going to be like crazy over the top party that you normally see on YouTube it's going to be more like casual picnic at the local farm where kids and moms can just hang out I think I think I still managed to make it Instagram slash Pinterest worthy looking party without spending too much money. I am so excited to see how it all came together. So if you're interested in farm animal themed party for your little one, make sure you stick around till the end of the video and check out the final look because it turned out way, way better than I've imagined. So without further ado, let's get started. Aline is taking a nap now, so I'm going to quickly bake oatmeal cookies for kids' morning tea. I always feel a bit nervous about feeding other kids, so I'm going to make it as healthy as possible just in case. So I'm going to use no flour, no butter, no sugar recipe. I know it sounds boring, but I'll add overripe bananas and agave syrup to make it more tasty. Alina loves these cookies and I really hope the kids enjoy them as well. Mm. are in the oven i'm gonna make fruit cups initially i was gonna make fruit kebabs like fruit skewers but i figured the skewers are not really toddler friendly so i've changed the plan to this cute little cups with the leads instead and i think it's a great way for kids to enjoy fruits on the go <music> Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Now I'm going to prep some decoration items for the table. I learned this trick from Instagram. I'm making a tape grid on this small pot for the artificial flower that I bought from Kmart. By doing this, the flower stem stays right up in the middle of the pot. using a paper twine just to add a little character to the table. party hats for the farm animal figurines. It's super easy to make, you just need to cut the paper into a circle and cut a small triangular strip out of one side of the circle and then make corn shape and tape it. So I'm going to put this horse on top of the cake and the rest of the animals like sheep, goats, pigs and cows will be around the cake wearing these small party hats so that'll you know make it look more festive and fun. <music> It's 7 a.m. I had a great sleep. I just checked the baby monitor and Alina's up, so let's go and see how she's doing. Alina? <laughs> Alina, <laughs> happy birthday! <laughs> Alina sat down on her potty the first thing in the morning as usual. It's been a few months since we've started potty training. It's still a bit of hit and miss, but I'm sure she'll get that. No, that's a trip. 응, 그거 접시 가져오고 I just made some banana pancakes for breakfast, which Alina loves. I know I put just a little more maple syrup than usual, but that's okay because it's her birthday. It's a perfect weather, it's not too hot, not too cold, it's a perfect day for our little birthday party. While Alina and my husband are having breakfast together, I'm going to quickly get myself ready. So here we are on the farm, it's currently 9 o'clock. I am so excited about this farm. They have lots of farm animals and kids will be fascinated with feeding and petting. There are chickens, a gigantic pig, ponies, ducks and lots of goats. And what makes this farm really special is that they provide messy play for young children and they even have an on-site photographer. So when I was in the last minute rush of organizing the party, everything I needed was in a package. I just had to add and change a few things and they were really accommodating and made things so much easier. They have different themes and messy play products that you can choose from. 
They are close from the city. They are affordable. The farm is so pretty. They have petting zoo. There are wild wallabies around. And the best part is that you don't need to worry about cleaning up the messy play afterwards. So it just ticks all the boxes for busy parents. So I'll leave the link to their Instagram account in the description box down below. So if you are interested in messy play on the farm, you can book online. And if you have any questions about having an event on the farm, just slide into their DMs because that's how I did. Just you know, this video is not sponsored. I am just a very happy customer and love to share this great place to local parents. And I spoke to them about my YouTube channel and they are happy to give us 10% promo code for a messy play session. So when you book in online, just type in hazelnut 10% and you'll get a discount. So this is chia seed slime down here. What? Really fun. Yeah. Um, I shing it off to try and get it off when it's when they're still wet. If right. you leave them dry. Oh, it'll be very hard yeah. To get off. Uh -huh, okay. I mean, still fun. All edible. So this is all. So this is where we are having our birthday party. While everyone's in the messy play session, we just started at 9.30 and goes for about an hour, an hour and a half. I'm getting the table set up and decorating the area, which is on the other side of the farm. So this is going to be our table. Initially, we didn't have a table because their table was broken from the recent flooding. So we decided to use this wooden pallets instead. But this is exactly what I pictured when I thought I wanted to do a picnic for Alina's birthday. So it worked out better. And these table covers are actually coffee bags. And it looks so beautiful. And it goes really well with the vibe of this place. So I ditched my tablecloth that I brought. And I just added a table runner across. is just for the kids we have kitty cat paper plates which is from daiso and we have small disposable cups with paper straws set up i know it looks a little messy and it's not perfect but i still love how it turned out it's about quarter past 10 and the kids are gonna come shortly and have their morning tea after the messy play session so now i'm gonna go over here and work on the cheese board Everything is finally ready, the table is done, the cheese platter is done and the two private messy plate trays that I requested are ready as well. I asked for something completely different from the trays that they had for the 9.30 session this morning which was a diner theme and I love how colourful and inviting they are. We also had a mud kitchen set up to make fairy portions. I am so inspired by these ideas and I'm definitely going to try this set up at home as well. It's under the huge tree called the magical memory tree and it's surrounded by the bush where wild wallabies are running around. There are ponies behind the fence, there is a swing on the tree and it has such a magical vibe. I really love this place.
hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to give a thumbs up i also make videos about montessori at home play ideas for toddlers and montessori inspired home makeover and in the next video i'll share what alina got for her second birthday so if you're new you might want to consider subscribing to my channel so you get notified when i upload the next video thank you for watching and i'll see you guys next time bye